Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here I hope you're doing all fine so let's do a quick uh, TA video because uh, Bitcoin is currently in this potential bullish pattern starting to break and test here this $10,000 resistance so far we still didn't manage to break it and we also have some bearish signs so before we're gonna through the different time frames just keep in mind that currently we have 80% of longs and 20% of shorts and if you know that the market makers are manipulating the market if they are doing so they can easily dump now the market and all these longs would get liquidated or stopped out and that would mean that we would see a big waterfall here to the downside towards six thousand dollars this would be my target in case of a breakdown but currently we are in a bullish pattern and in theory we should see a breakout to the upside and this is what everyone is waiting for i don't have yet a position here but i prepared myself for all scenarios i took a little bit of profits out but i'm also fine in case that we start to moon from here and we will never see prices again below ten thousand dollar i'm also fine with that but for all scenarios you should be prepared so that's why I took now a bit of profits and if we're gonna have a breakout here to the downside I'm gonna open a short position over here on Bybit and trade it down towards six thousand dollar between six to eight thousand dollar if we're gonna have a breakout to the upside here so not only breaking this ten thousand but also ten thousand five hundred this main resistance above of us then I will open a long position so there I'm waiting for a breakout so currently in the one hour we are trading above the 15 the RSI stochastic is overbought so after this huge move that we had here after touching here the support at around 9450 we came here into overbought territory also here in the Bollinger Band you can see that we overshooted it to the upside we had a bullish cross in the MACD so here in the four hour it looks like that we're trying to push again towards 10k and maybe also break it let's see if we're able to do that with the next uh, move and if we go over to the four hour here also it's still looking very bullish we bounced successfully from the 50 level in the rsi after we closed here below the 20 moving average immediately we started to trade again above the 20 moving average so let's hope that we can close this candle above 9600 dollar stochastic is also oversold so also here in theory we should have now the momentum shifted to the upside and if we go over to the bollinger band in the four hour here also you can see that currently we are trading towards the top area here of $9,900 so we're still trading here at the upper area MACD could have a bullish cross here in the 4 hour and this could fire up here the breakout from $10,000 let's see I still think it is possible even though we also have few bearish things not only here the longs and shorts ratio but also we have very small tiny uh, future gaps below of us uh, we still have this gap down here at around 9,300 that in theory we still have to go to fill it because in the one hour it's still opened and here we have another very tiny one at $7,610 I don't give too much a attention to these small ones uh, over here then like this big one that we had up to 10,000 but it's there I mean uh, if you trade based on CME gaps what sometimes I'm also doing then you should consider that the price easily could drop down again towards $7,600 because there is a little future gap down there and that's why I also think it is possible that maybe we're gonna see first a big dump towards $6,200 before a healthy big bounce and the start of the real bull run to new all-time highs so we can go now also to the daily time frame because here also you can see that we're trading above the 20 daily moving average which is at $9,200 here the 50 and the 200 daily are gonna cross very soon it is a golden cross which is a bullish sign but very often we see pr big price movements but not always to the direction that everyone is expecting so right now even though it's a golden cross I'm more expecting that we could see a big breakout to the downside because we have a lot of longs we have some CME futures below of us and if this golden cross here is going to bring even more people going long or buy in here at those prices imagine what would happen once the price would dump from there 
so that's why I will not trade this golden cross bullish I just gonna wait here the breakout of this pattern that we are in right now and in the daily we are also above the $15 size stochastic is oversold so here also in theory we should have a breakout to the upside and even if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that we're trading in the upper area so we should be staying here at around $10,100 to $9,400 MACD is flat here so it's really looking like that everyone is waiting here for the next big move to the downside or to the upside and as I told you you should be prepared for all scenarios I also think that based on several indicators we should break out to the upside but something tells me that we still could see a second crash in the stock market and also maybe in the crypto space we first gonna see a bigger dump before a real breakout from this big $10,500 resistance that is in front of us and also if we go over here to the weekly time frame you can see that several weeks now we are just pumping and going high and based on my experience everything that is going up will come down again so of course we could start from here now a breakout here of this 10,500 and a big bull run towards new all-time highs but since already we are trading so low Long now to the upside it is possible that first we're gonna see a retracement back down to have several confirmations here test again the lows create higher lows and then have this final big leg up towards uh, new all-time highs so maybe the next time we're gonna fight here this resistance if we are not able to break it right now it will be at around 9,500 in case that we're gonna really drop down here towards 6,200 to 5,200 dollar and then see again the fight here of this 9,500 dollar before we could break out here to the upside it is possible but of course nothing is for sure no one can see the future but you just have to be prepared for all scenarios and then you should be fine here in the weekly everything is still looking very bullish here in the Bollinger Band we still have a lot of few left to the upside even up to $11,100 we also had the bullish cross here in the MACD so also here we, in theory we have a lot of room left to the upside even though I think there could be a short term dump as well especially to liquidate or stop out a lot of these longs and of course if you also want to trade this with a long or a short then you can do that over on the Bybit or Femex for example if you need an account you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description because with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also some rewards so if you need an account or you have already an account there you can open up another one with my links so you can get also some rewards over there and some sign up bonuses and make sure also to join our free discord trading chat it's completely for free and everyone is welcome and please also join the live streams over on twitch so if you have a twitch channel you can follow me also over on twitch so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that we do with every 500 subscribers so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye